Well, good afternoon, friends. Hope everybody's having an awesome beginning to the week. At Stonefeather Road, we are back at it and getting ready for auction and getting ready for three shows this week. And we're getting ready for Back Road Treasures. It's coming. We gotta get you 2,500 followers on our Roadsters group. So help us share and get your friends to join. Sooner we get there, the sooner you see the unbelievable. Matter of fact, Michelle and I were just laughing. We're in the upstairs. Michelle's been checking in, checking in, checking in, logging stuff into the system. And I said, I think maybe I bought for more than one show. She goes, yeah, I think you have two shows worth of stuff. So needless to say, and we have one more shipment coming in. There is some unbelievable things. I have a fly that's going to be dogging me. And I probably won't catch it. It'll drive me nuts down here. Why is a fly in my basement studio? Who knows, right? How did he get down here? I'm sure he has a very interesting life story, which I'm going to try and put to an end if I get a hold of him. <laughs> but at any rate, the Back Road Treasure Collection is unbelievable. Um, you're going to want to help us get there quickly, believe me. Uh, we're doing some marketing to get there, and anybody you can share and get to join, all the better. We had a bunch of people in this weekend in the store. They all joined. They were very excited. We gave them a little peek at a couple of items and said, if you want to see these kinds of things, this is what you're going to want to do. And they were, boom, they signed up. So nonetheless, um, let's go over the uh, preview for this week. This collection is a really beautiful collection. I've got a little bit of red and gold, um, warm tones, turquoise. Of course, we can't do it without turquoise. Um, and a little bit of um, white. So a really pretty collection. Here's the news, though. Five items sold already last night. Cindy posted it and boom, boom, boom. People were bidding and buying things at 530 this morning. I know who those people are. At any rate, there are still 25 items left. Beautiful items, great items. But... Just going forward, so you know, when we wrap an auction up on that Sunday night, there's always another auction that goes right up, um, either right after it or right before we even shut down the, uh, the auction. So at any given time on a Sunday night, there's two um, auctions that are up. Uh, don't get confused on which one you're bidding. We've had that happen before too. Uh, but as soon as the new um, auction is up, people know, get on. There's some great buys at the buy now prices, mostly because a lot of what we do is one of a kind. A lot of this we're designing in-house. Um, or we have artists who are designing it, we are acquiring it. So a really unique curated collection. Some of it a very great value, some of it at a very high end um, pieces that are collectible. Um, and for sure, when we get into um, the back row treasures, we'll have a mix of that as well. We'll have some very affordable pieces and we'll have some over the top, gorgeous, stunning statement pieces. So this week, uh, we close the auction at 8 p.m. Um, every Sunday night, we do one every single week and have for months on end. And there's anywhere between 25 and 30 items, and you'll want to sign up. If you have not yet, you want to go to our website at stonefeatherroad.com, hit the auction button, register, create a password and a username, keep a hold of that somewhere. Most of your iPhones, iPads, and your laptops or computers will allow you to save that either in a keychain so you don't have to remember the password or um, it'll save it specifically for that site. You just have to allow it to do that. That'll save you figuring out what your password is each time you log into a new auction, which is what you will need to do. It's like being at an auction this Saturday and then next Saturday going to another auction where you're actually in person and bidding, getting a paddle, signing up at the registration date, desk. Same kind of thing, except you'll keep the same username and password. Uh, once you're signed in, then you can bid. You can do a buy now bid, which means you buy that item right then, take it out of play. Nobody else gets to bid on it. It's yours. We will invoice you on Sunday night. We don't do any pre-invoicing throughout the week. We do it all on Sunday night. Another thing you can do is put a maximum bid in. So that means the system will bid for you. It'll bid against any other bidders that come um, your way without you even being there. It'll rotate in the whatever the increment bid is that's on that particular item, which usually is between $10 and $20. Sometimes we'll have a higher increment bid on uh, higher price things, but usually $10 to $20. And then the other way you can bid is you can just pop the bid, one increment bid, and one at a time, and kind of just keep tabs on it. Whatever you do, set your alarm for Sunday night at 7.55 to jump back in and check your bids and get back into um, the process if you so choose to. Check where your bids are at, check what's going for a great buy. Some of the things go at 80% off, some of them go at full price. So if that's just how an auction runs. That's how we roll. All right, so this item, let's see, I think actually this is one of the ones that sold. Maybe not. No, this one is still available. So this is, I'm gonna have to just slide slightly here. The beautiful Tibetan curly lamb scarf. This is our design. It's been an in-house design that we've done for 
oh, let's see, the past, past two years, I think, maybe even three, we're going into our third year with it. We make a little cross through um, on the back. It's a little um, piece of fabric that goes through and then you can pop down when you cross it through. So that way in the wind, when it's cold out, you're not um, having to you know, keep a hold of it. It'll tuck down and in. This goes beautifully with a coat, a sweater, a shirt, a vest, a jean uh, top, anything, a jean jacket. It's just a really cool um, piece around your neck. It gives a lot of texture color and it gives you nice warmth, not too hot, but a nice amount so that fur always is that natural conduit for heat to just kind of stay nestled against you. I've loved fur, uh, gosh, since I've been, I don't know, 18 years old and started in the business and bought my first um, piece of fur as an apparel um, piece. So at any rate, that's a gorgeous uh, piece in the collection. This I don't think has sold yet. No, this one has not sold, but this has sold, every, I think almost every week it's sold at a buy now price. It's gorgeous. This is um, Shell and it's multi-strand. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a brown um, shell. It actually was a production piece that we bought. I would buy this again. I love these. We've had them in black and reds and um, a couple of other colors. Jasper, really pretty Jasper. And I just haven't been able to find them again. But we love them for layering. They layer beautifully and with so many things. The brown is gorgeous with turquoise. So this would be an awesome piece in your collection. And it feels good. If you can just hear, hear all the shell. And it's got a good weight to it. It actually feels almost like a stone. But it, it's really, it is uh, like an abalone type shell. And it's dyed. Very pretty. Here we have shown it with uh, the beautiful turquoise uh, bezeled and sterling bar necklace. And this is a great piece. Let me get centered here. Okay, stop. There we go. It's got a really light brown matrix to it. And it sits really quite beautifully right in the neckline right here. It has about a little over a one inch adjustment, about a one and a half inch adjustment, so you can go a little shorter. Um, you can put an extender on it, go longer, but I really think it's classically a nice piece that fits right in that neckline. And we could shorten it. If you wanted it to be a tight choker, we could make that adjustment for you. Easily enough a done. So that's a fun piece. This is um, another uh, very fun uh, neck piece. It's a sterling silver uh, collar. Okay, so it's a collar choker, so to speak. And then it has the mercury dime, which is um, a coin. It's an old uh, vintage coin. And then it's bezel set with turquoise. So just a real simple, see it against black, how pretty it is. And it's, it's a dime size uh, with that little turquoise put right on top of it. So very, very fun. And that one you could also wear if you had a small uh, Navajo pearl, like a four or five millimeter would be good in terms of a, a Navajo pearl chain uh, or collection. And then also you could do it with um, just a sterling chain would be very nice. And that'll polish up to a high sheen if you want it to. I'm adjusting lighting here so we can see better. Sorry about that. There we go. I'm shy one of my lights. Cindy's shooting upstairs at the same time I'm shooting down here, which means that there's lots of action. That's a good thing. Okay, this is um, a beautiful handmade um, knife. It actually is functional. Most people buy it for a great desk piece. It's a great letter opener. It has that beautiful, um, it's, a, a, it's a burnished antler, okay, off of a deer. This is all deer gut. And then this is deer sinew where it's tied off. And this is all hand, hand napped stone out of um, the San Antonio area in Texas. Um, I met the artist. I don't even know if he's around anymore. I know two years ago he was very, very, very ill and um, was struggling with cancer and um, did not look good. I met him and I was such, it was such a delight to meet him because I bought, oh gosh, dozens and dozens of knives from him. And this is kind of the last of the collection. I have a couple more pieces, but true artisan pieces. And I said to him, you know, I love how these feel. And um, I said, how do you do that? How do you know, you know, where you hit it? And he goes, I pick up every single handle and match it to the point that I have napped. And he goes, there just has to be a right feel and a right angle and how it um, matches up. And he goes, and then I bind it. Yeah, he makes the notch and binds it, which you can tell when you grab a hold of this, it feels just right in your hand, awesome. So it could be a men's knife, a women's knife. I just think it's cool. Um, I have my, you know, pieces like this on a book in my, um, my family room. Um, I love it on a desk, really, really pretty. So cool piece. 
And we've got gorgeous, um, these are all Piote bead stitched, beautiful, beautiful beaded earrings. Tons of hours and time on these. Those are all, this is all authentic uh, turquoise. And then this is hand beaded, one at a time, one little bead at a time. Look how beautiful that is. The movement of it, the length of it, everything about it I love. It's just an awesome, awesome, awesome piece. And that was done for our collection. That's an exclusive design. Back here, we have back to the great Tibetan uh, fur again. We've got the beautiful Tibetan curly lamb bag. Let's see if I can get this a better picture. Without making you and me both dizzy. There is the curly lamb bag. This is our smaller scale one. It's a Stone Feather Road exclusive design. We did um, just the full on black um, leather for this handle. A little small, well, this one actually is a little smaller scale than our regular small and a little bit slightly different. We were kind of toying with a little bit different prototype and I love this one, it turned out great. It's got the nice bronze leather in the back and it has the great pocket for your phone right there. It has a little snap closure um, right here and it is unlined, just a real simple bag that will be very comfortable to carry. It's got some nice fringe on it. Anytime you have this bag um, on um, and out and about with it, you get comments because of the, of the curly lamp. People actually want to pet it because it looks like a little puppy or a little kitty or something like that. Okay, sorry about that. I'm having, my phone keeps diving here because I'm on a little bit of an unsteady. There we go, that's better. All right, then let's go to this sweet earring. This is an in-house design. This is the turquoise nugget with the, um, make sure it's sterling silver, Navajo pearl on the bottom. Great color of turquoise. You've got a lot of green tones in there, but a bit of blue as well. Those are just kind of that perfect, simple little accent at the ear. That's a great one. This is a beautiful hishi. It's a choker style. Love this little piece. I'll show you where it's gonna hit. It is truly choker style. It's gonna hit about right there, okay? And it's hishi and then tiny chips of turquoise. And the hishi is white and brown, so it's really a great uh, summer fit. It would be great with what I have, and I have white pants and denim on today. It would be a great fit um, with my outfit. But a lot of sweet little turquoise there. Very pretty. And then this is, um, these are native made. They're uh, a post earring. We don't do lots of posts. But I just don't find a lot of them. I like post, actually. Um, they're very comfortable to wear and easy to wear. And so it's a concho style. It's all hand stamped. Let's see if you can see that. Hand stamped and then it's inlaid in, um, looks close to Petapoint, so it could be Zuni. I'm not sure on that one. But it's a little older set uh, that I acquired from a collection. And that's a really sweet little set and piece. Here is one of our cuffs. It's our design. It's about a three inch uh, wide leather in that deep kind of cognac color. I love even the edging, how the edge, when you cut it, it leaves that lighter uh, color in terms of leather. And then it's got uh, cowhide, a little bit longer cowhide, which is kind of fun. And it's got the um, bezel set crystals here, and then the beautiful brown and caramel colored stone. Very pretty. And that could be um, male or female piece. Well, Cindy is the master on hanging these correctly, and I am not gonna hit it. This one sold. This is a little wrap bracelet. Boo-hoo, if you wanted that one, is gone. Gone, gone, gone. Someone jumped on that one right away. And then this is a gorgeous uh, sterling, uh, sterling built. So it's all sterling silver bezel set. And there's uh, semi-precious stones in it, turquoise, there's pyrite, more turquoise. And I'm gonna have to look up what that, the uh, semi-precious stone is. Um, but beautiful, beautiful cuts, very, very pretty on. Nice width. It's gonna go with all your turquoise uh, pieces. Anything that you have turquoise is gonna match up nicely to it. This is one of my single stone cup designs, one of my personal designs, actually one of my favorite stones. This beautiful mustard gold, look at the movement and the matrix in that stone is gorgeous. And then I love the raw edge here. 
really, really, really love the raw, raw edge. Very pretty. And this is on um, an eight strand uh, cuff. Um, you'll have to check measurement on that. It's probably, let's see if I can tell. It's gonna be about a six and a half to a seven and a half because it fits me perfectly. And I'm about a, on the higher end of the six to six and a half. So I'm probably more of a six and a half than a six. So great piece. This piece sold. Um, I can replicate. I have a couple of these conchos, and so this one will probably come back out, and I might do it in some different colors as far as the uh, the leather, but this piece was gone. Whoever picked that up, we're gonna love that. It's a fun piece. I knew that would go well. This also sold. <clears throat> Excuse me, I think I do have a couple others. It's a great little hook, um, cheap keychain. Uh, it's great for hooking right into your your belt loop and your pant, like right here. And then your, your keys are here or, you know, whatever you want to hook onto it. Um, for college, it's good. You can put it also on a neck fob. Um, you put it on the inside of your purse uh, in terms of around the edge of the purse, just pop it in. So a really functional piece. This one is sold, like I said, if you want it, uh, let us know and I can show you what else uh, we do have. And probably in the similar color. And then this is um, Tiger's Eye. If you've watched us, you know we've had this in Lapis and there's a beautiful green we've had. Um, there's a couple different ones and uh, Amethyst we've had it in. Solid stone, I mean, so it has some weight to it, but it's a stretch bracelet. So it's easy to get on and just has a real, look how beautiful. Just that, look at the different, um, the pop and color and light that you're getting from the, um, the actual stones. Very pretty. That's a great piece. Um, this one sold, and I don't have any more, but I'll just show it. Gone. So you gotta shop the, gotta shop the auction early, or you miss the options to pick up your choice. It's not the good stuff; it's all good stuff, <laughs> but your choice. Okay. This is beautiful. I love, love, love uh, the the uh, etching and the uh, artwork on this piece. This is, of course, all hand done. It's Native American done. Just look at the texture and what they did in the design. Very, very pretty. Kind of almost a button uh, post earring. Here it is here. See, it's got a decent size to it. It's not small. Um, so it's got a real, uh, really nice kind of a size to it. That would be, and they're lightweight, but they are all a sterling. And so that's a great piece. This one sold. I'll show it to you anyway. Just to let you know, shop early. The little stretch bracelet with the cross and the beautiful brown and uh, white tones. Very pretty. And these are available. This is a, a beautiful, uh, I love that stone, the slab cut earrings. And we make those and then we put it with our bracelet that we also do. It's a little bit more of a brick red and then really a beautiful onyx um, colored stone. Just solid black jet. Just is a nice play in color. Kind of has that deep red, black and white kind of a feel um, and essence to it. Um, and then of course, silver. So a great little set. And let's see. The ever famous bracelet. I've got to place another order. But the great bracelet um, right here is the multi-strand. This one's beautiful colors. It's a turquoise and the honey tones. I suspect somebody will nab this up as a buy now because uh, it just, it usually does not last through. The one last week did, uh, but um, and a really pretty one. I was surprised, but um, somebody got it at a good buy, but usually these will sell right at the 119. We do not get price resistance on it at all. The blanket, has the blanket sold yet? Usually the blanket will go too. Nope, nobody has nobody has um gotten the blanket yet so the blanket is the beautiful red and the gold tones a uh, little bit of gray and then of course popped with black so that's a really nice throw for your car for um a uh, throw over your sofa over a chair just to pop a bit of color you could even put it over a ladder in a room if you have one of those decorative ladders or take an old barn ladder and do it as a great display piece it just gives a nice vertical color appeal um so kind of anywhere, out over a bed would be good as well. And then we have this beautiful bag. It's a bag, it's a production bag that we bought 
uh, that we really, really love. It's gorgeous colors and the browns, kind of a satchel overnight bag. It's got grays and browns, a bit of black as well. Tans, caramels, just really nice size. It's got, I love the, the straps here, which are, um, this is leather and this strap here is leather. Leather here, this is a canvas here. It's just a cool design. It's got a little zipper on the back and it's more of a woolen um, kind of a texture to the back of it and that ca uh, camel color, pretty contrast though. Just a real rich uh, colors, but you walk in if you're headed to just an overnight trip or an out of town or even for a day trip and you need some things to carry with you. This would be lightweight, first of all, hold a ton of stuff and it looks good. That's a great piece. And then I think the only other thing, let's see, oh, here we are. Yeah, this one is beautiful. Cindy has all kinds of places. She sets me up here and hides it. I missed the belt last week, but, uh, but you guys found it. <laughs> so here is uh, the beautiful Thunderbird uh, copper uh, necklace. This is uh, an in-house design. Tons of gorgeous raw edged, but rounded, raw but red, uh, rounded edged um, turquoise in browns and greens. Those of you that love green turquoise, this could be a very fun, fun piece. And then it has the emblematic um, sunshine, you know, crosses off of the end here too. Very pretty. And that one's gonna hit Oh, let's see here. I can give you an approximate length. Anywhere from here on up to here. So you can, you've got about a five inch uh, leeway in terms of that. Really nice copper um, chain as well. It's a good piece, very good piece. It's been in our store. I love it in the store because it hangs um, up on, it was hanging up on a, a display piece way up on our top shelf and I kind of hated taking it down because it just it has a great look so those kinds of pieces certainly they're made to be worn but put them in your home you can dangle a beautiful bracelet out of a beautiful wooden or copper or some kind of a bowl um, you can take you know if you have a really pretty concho belt or something roll it up and put it coming out of a bowl um, there's just some really fun things and, and honestly I got that I um, idea from a client that sent me pictures of um, some things that she did and um, did a beautiful job with it. Very, very pretty. So it's um, quite appealing as well, many of our things um, from a home decor standpoint. And then also, um, I don't know if you could see um, the color very well, but this is a hand painted, hand textured um, deer antler that's been refurbished and not refurbished even, it's just been embellished. So it's partly painted, but part of the natural is, the color is out here. And then it's been wire wrapped with chunks of turquoise uh, throughout it. It's like here, a great display piece to hang something. You can put it on a table, put a candle, you know, in between two of the tines. Um, it's just a really neat, we use it in the store. I hate parting with them. Michelle's making me part with some of the props. It makes me very sad because I love props. But um, I think you'll love that one. And that was actually, um, I co-designed that um, with a young college gal who um, is here at University of Northern Iowa. And she's done, oh gosh, maybe five, four, five, six pieces for us. Um, and this is one of, one of her designs. So at any rate, it's so a local artisan. You're supporting not only American majors, supporting Iowa and truly local, Cedar Falls, Maine. And we love that. We love that when we can do that. The other piece is uh, the beautiful cowhide. Um, I'm kind of, let's see, I can get a little better view for you, I think, here. If Nava stays there, not falling over, we're good. And let's see if I can just tip this a bit in this favor. So this is really a warm caramel toned one uh, this week. And it's, um, I would say it's going to be a smaller to a medium size. Got a beautiful dorsal through here. So you can use these for your floor. You can put them on a uh, sofa, you can put them over an ottoman, over a balcony if you have a balcony that's open or a vaulted ceiling. Certainly on a wall would be awesome as well. Um, you can even cut it and use it for seat coverings in upholstery for like bar stools or um, the back of a bar stool would be cool too. Um, you can use them as uh, runners, you know, down your dining room table. There's just so many different things you can do with them. Uh, coasters, lots and lots of things. Um, of course, we love keeping it intact when we can and using it as a floor covering because it's just so beautiful. But that's the cowhide for the week um, to have some fun bidding on that as well. So that's it. That's a wrap. Um, this will be, again, wrapping up uh, starting at 8 p.m. on Sunday evening. Um, that just is the start of the auction. It goes usually for about 45 minutes with 30 items. 
The items sell in two minute increments. If someone bids on an item in the last two minutes of any bidding going on and the closing of a particular item, um, if someone comes in and bids in the last two minutes, the bidding will be extended by another two to three minutes. So you're never kind of left hanging in that last minute or two and saying, oh, I want to bid. Um, or in the, even in the last 15 seconds, um, you decide you want to bid, bid. You'll still be in. Your bid will pick back up and then the other person has the opportunity because the two minutes will be added. We've had items go for 30, 40 minutes before and then people go back and forth and back and forth for a long amount of time. Um, just like you would in real bidding if you're live. And if you've ever been to an auction, it's fun. So no less fun on um, online. You just don't know, you don't get to see who you're bidding against and you don't get to um, look at them and give them like the evil eye, like don't bid against me again. Because when you do that, then they will, okay? <laughs> so that strategy is out, <laughs> out. All you can do, you can bid fast back against them. You can bid slow against them. You can bid evenly. You have to figure out your strategy and bottom line is, what are you willing to pay for the item? That's what it's about at an auction. Um, so with that, have an awesome week. Um, remember, if you would, please help us by sharing uh, the Stone Feather Roadsters page. It is shareable even though we are a group, we're uh, a public group, we're not a private group. Um, so you can share this feed, you can share any one of our posts, even our shows that we're doing um, live, which we have uh, two apparel shows coming up, one Tuesday, which is tomorrow, one Wednesday, another apparel one. We're gonna do t-shirts tomorrow t-shirts, blankets, small bags. It's going to be just kind of a fun, random, ripping through a lot of t-shirts. Um, and we're going to have some special prices on some things, so it'll be worth jumping on and um, watching. And bidding. I know bidding. It's a buy now. It's a buy now show. Um, and then uh, Thursday, we're going to have a small jewelry, uh, jewelry collection, just like we did last week, of buy now things, and that'll be on the comments sold as well. And um, then another auction next Sunday. We just keep going, doing what we're doing. We've got some cool new things, and we got new Palazzo pants in um, this past week. We got a new, um, I think we're going to have in the show tomorrow, a new jacket um, that has embroidery on the sleeve, which is beautiful, awesome. Uh, we've actually played with this jacket before. We brought it back in because we had, I don't know, we sold eight of them. And so there's way more than eight of you out there, and we wanted you guys to see it again. It's well made, it's well done, it's stunning. And so uh, we'll show that jacket. I think it'll be in the first item auction, or uh, not auction, the item shown tomorrow. Um, either Bella or Michelle will have it on. And what else do we have going on? That's it. Um, we have to get to 2,500 followers. You guys can see it as quickly as I can. Actually, usually you all are letting me know when we get close to the number <laughs> so that I can get the, the show ready to go. When we hit the 2,500 um, followers on our Stone Feather Roadster group, then we'll launch within 48 hours we'll launch the back road treasures number two all right with that have a great week and we'll see you tomorrow morning uh, around probably 10 30 to 11. Uh, we'll be doing uh, the t-shirt show have a great evening peace and light friends